what's going on guys LCG here back with another episode of Firewatch and I was sitting here just enjoying this uh, beautiful scenery here um, you know prolonging putting off or putting off doing the dishes and it occurred to me I haven't thanked you guys in a while so I want to take this opportunity thank you guys each and every day that you tune in you voluntarily punish yourselves and watch me on YouTube and I appreciate that I really do that's that's an awesome thing you guys take time out of your day to just pay attention to something that I am doing and uh, I guess I never really understood how much I appreciated that until I started taking note of all the games that I've played or that I want to play now that I'm producing YouTube content. So yeah, I, I actually really appreciate that. You guys have helped bring me away from playing only the grind them down, the hardcore multiplayer games to actually being able to sit back and enjoy a storyline in a video game. A video game. That's what they're called. Video games. But, now that I got that out of the way, uh, we are going to Cottonwood Creek. If you remember correctly, at the end of last episode, old Delilah told us this tree right here, right? She did not radio over the name of the creek. She did not radio it over. She said, meet me there. And that's where we're going to head. All right. So, whoop. Whoop, sorry about that. I'm hot mic a little bit. I keep doing that. And it's silly. I have no or actually I do know because shift is what brings up the radio and in pretty much every other game that I have ever played shift is actually the key that you would use in order to run. So Cottonwood Creek. Zoop. I'm currently up here at Two Forks Lookout and I gotta head down another that away. So, in true LCG fashion, I'm going to hit the road and start running that direction. I will bring you back if there are any storyline updates whatsoever. Alright? So, sit back, grab yourself a glass of whiskey, and get ready. Here we go. Alright, we are coming up on Cottonwood Creek now. And, uh, you know, I, I sometimes get told that my voice seems kind of sarcastic. Uh... I really am very appreciative of you guys tuning in. Um, please don't take that as anything other than a genuine thank you. So this should be it. Yeah. I believe. I believe we're right on top of... Yep. Cottonwood Creek. So we can't radio into old Delilah. But we also can't... Can we cross this here? We can. Alright, there we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. That is genius. 5678. How did we not notice that? Alright, we're going to take all that map information, and, ooh, I've got it now. Good, I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Amen. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? You know that I'm scared. is doing this I don't know who could be doing this <sighs> Henry I've been at this 
job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Hmm. I wonder... I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? Is this a sundial or something? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? My Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry. Sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. Alright, so we're heading northwest here. It looks like I can't report this, so let's bring our compass back up. Let's get our bearings. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, Delilah. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped, and now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Alright, let me hit my radio. Delilah, I'm okay. Give me my... I can't bring out my camera. I just want to take a picture of this view. Ugh. All right, how close are we? Yep, you guys go ahead, sit back, get comfy. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a run. So, stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back at Wapiti Meadow, or Wapiti Station. We are. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy we're that. going in. <clears throat> Ugh. And we're in. Investigate Wapiti Meadow. Oh. Ow! Uh. Give me this. Uh, how do we... If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Okay. We're going to put that back. We can't report it, and we can't close that back up to make it look like we weren't even here. So, what we need to do is we need to be very sneaky like. Uh, jump across. What are we looking at here? Who's in here? Oh man. This is actually, I'm my, yeah. I can feel it in my chest. I just feel like there's something in here. Oh, uh, by the way, I got a steam achievement there for getting stung by a bee, I guess? The hell's that all about? Oh, man, you can see the sun is setting. This is getting creepier and creepier. By the minute. Alright, so good work, Delilah. You actually, I, I like that she actually changed the... Uh, the box code, if you were watching, I actually got hung up there because I assumed that it was one, two, three, four still. Uh, and 
Something else I want to mention, kind of while we're creeping around here. Not really sure what we're looking for, but part of what makes this game so amazing, I think, is, is the consistency, right? The artwork is very simple. Oh, well, that's a little radio tower. The artwork itself is very simple. And nothing too extravagant about it. They never really break from what they have started. It's all it's all the same style across the board, right? I mean, the same generators. I can't say the exact same generator, but that same style. And the radio towers are all designed the same way. It's great. I think that it really tunes people into the game. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. So that is actually not a good thing, um, unless they're literally just trying to spy on the other lookouts. Having towers in low areas like that is generally a bad thing. Ooh. What is that? Looks like a radar of some sort. That's generally a bad thing. Atmospherics are, you know, they're, they're heavily... Um, what am I trying to say here? They will heavily impact your communications. But more so than that, being down in a valley is real bad. Natural terrain is your probably number one enemy. Uh-oh. Can I report this from afar? What the hell's going on here? We're gonna sneak around the back side. Maybe there's some goodies. Nope. No back entrance to this tent. Nobody back around here. Uh, what happens when we peek in here? That's a hard case. All right. Okay. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's. Definitely some sort of monitoring station. Yup. This is where we go ham, boys. This is where we get all of our good pictures. Anything on the ceiling? No? Alright. We want to get full view here. We don't know what's in there, but we're going to take pictures of it anyway. Where else do they have papers? Clothing. Important. I don't know if I already got this, but... Wait. Just hoof it. Alright. We're going to save that one. Using your Anderson Wavefinder Wave Receiver. Hmm. Woo! Keep waving it. Locates any strong signal. Green light. Target straight ahead. Distance light, strength of signal, and tone equals source of signal discovered. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. This is pretty interesting. Can I? I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. 
Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Yeah, let's report this too. All right. So we're gonna zoop. No, all right. Well, that looks like that looks like a lot of good stuff. All right, I think we're gonna call the episode here, guys. Thank you for tuning in as I got... about the two of us oh man this is what I missed okay so you guys were brought back to see this don't hate me just yet so this is a 10-week report observational traits comprehensive Explorer keeps to the path prone to anger but passive Feels guilty, forthright, and guarded. Subject overview. Subject is fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update. Subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Level 9. Susceptibility to ma uh, manipulation. That's terrible. Alright. That's cute. There's stuff in here about Julia. Uh, like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Alright, let's read this. Delilah A, age 43. Annual review. She's been out here often. Observational trait. Considering she's an alcoholic, she's reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history, pertinent observed facts, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite long-term partner named Javier. A very low susceptibility to manipulation. Supervisor sign-off. E.G. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah. Maybe. My God, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. All right, let's go ahead and read this real quick. Subject beacon frequency. What? Beacon Frequence Sex Social Role. Okay. Um, frequent departure from Two Forks area. And male. What's this mean? We got male. M-O. Probably the outpost. Uh, I'll look more into that here in a minute. But uh, let's see. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. The next one. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, and disproportionate food intake. That's important. We will also eat that. Uh, so, I 
There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. All right. This is the actual egress out of the area. Dun, dun, dun. What are you? Catch that. Can't do that. Okay. Now, this makes a little bit more sense. So, it is a study of sorts. The participants obviously don't know. And I probably goofed up pretty bad by taking and keeping these reports. But either way, judging by the way he took them from the desk, it would have been obvious it had been tampered with. So, I wasn't too concerned with them knowing something had happened. It just looks like it's pretty obvious who did it. And now having them on my person. Oh, whoa. 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 Oh, shit. And now having them on my person is going to be uh, bad. Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person That's who not started our it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Whoa. Except to get the hell out. Yes, That's get us the hell out of here. Three of them? I will. All right. We're in over our head here, boys. Everybody, this is the real exit. Stay happy, stay healthy, eat your Wheaties, that's what we do in this world. Have a good one, LCG out.